Let's break down the current state of the race with Danny Diaz. He is communications director for the Republican National Committee and Karen Finney, communications director for the DNC. Great to see both of you. Good to hey, be with Nora. you. Hey, Danny, I want to go to you first and just talk about that Big Ten uh, battleground poll that we saw. And we'll put that graphic back up. Um, especially in some of the red states like Indiana, a state that Bush won, um, Barack Obama up 10. In Iowa, that's also a state Bush won, uh, Barack Obama up 13 points. And Ohio, a state uh, that John uh, that George W. Bush won, uh, Barack Obama up 12 points. That's uh, num element number three, if we can just put that up on the screen. Danny, are you concerned there at the Republican National Committee that Barack Obama has such a wide double-digit lead in some of these key battleground states? No. I mean, I think these polls make for great cable TV chatter, but that's about it. Uh, they're not at all consistent with what we're seeing. And as you said, I mean, there's a Mason-Dixon poll showing, I think it's either Obama or McCain up one in Ohio. Uh, Obama's own polling shows uh, McCain down two in Pennsylvania. So the reality is this. There are a lot of pollsters out there. Uh, there's a lot of polling being conducted. Uh, but what matters most is what happens on Election Day. And we're confident with our get-out-the-vote operation and, and, and the message kind of issue construct that's moving in a direction of the economy and taxes and national security is one that is favorable to us. Karen, do your internal numbers show that the lead is that big in states like Indiana? You know, our numbers show that uh, we still have a lot of work to do, which is why we're going to keep working hard uh, right down to Election Day. And I, you know, obviously I disagree uh, with Danny. While I do agree that the economy uh, is a major issue, I think what you're seeing in these numbers is that people trust overwhelmingly Barack Obama and how he would trust, he would take care of the economy. I think they know that when Barack Obama is out there talking about 95 percent of working people, middle class people getting a tax cut instead of what John McCain wants, which is a tax cut. Which for CEOs and companies that ship our jobs overseas. It's absolutely true. The American people know that that's not the way, the direction we need to go in, Danny. They know that, that John McCain is not a maverick. He's a yes man who's voted with, with uh, George you know, Bush 90% of the time. You know, Nora, the great part of this is that we're now talking about Barack Obama spreading the wealth, using his words, and the fact that his running mate believes he's, he's going to generate a so, test from a national security perspective to huge fundamental weaknesses in his message wait, that so, people are focusing on. So, so let me get this right, Danny. You're suggesting that a tax cut for 95 percent of working people it is is not good and that instead we should give another tax cut to CEOs and to sh companies that ship our jobs overseas that's the official position of the Republican Party I mean no wonder you guys think that hundred fifty thousand dollars is appropriate to spend on an outfit the official position of the Republican Party is it's laughable that anyone believe that Barack Obama would give a tax cut to 95 percent of Americans his entire record why don't you tell that to the working finish? people that they don't May deserve his a entire work. record speaks to tax increases one and two he's going to devastate small businesses to happen and happen to employ those those people he cares so much about, and they're going to have to go out on the road and get you fired know, because they're not going to have like, jobs. I mean, it's very simple. I like concept. your exchange, both of you, because I think you're pointing out some of the key points about mm -hmm. what's different about these two campaigns. Want to turn the subject too, to the, mm -hmm. to spending, mm -hmm. um, because this is a significant factor in this contest. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Danny, you would acknowledge this is a very difficult climate this year for Republicans. The economy uh, has hurt them, and also now Barack Obama has a great deal of money, mm -hmm. and we see now that in North Carolina, mm -hmm. um, Barack. Obama outspending eight to one in Florida three to one in Indiana three to one in mm. Virginia three to one Danny how do you compete against that um, disadvantage for McCain when it comes to spending in these key states pretty simple you can't buy leadership you can't buy you know a, a record and he can try but he, he's not <laughs> going to be successful and he's doing this based off lies because he told the American people that <laughs> he was going to talk about lies Danny he, he, he told the American people that he was going to subscribe to public financing and he broke his word at the end of the day the money differential is not what what determines the outcome what determines the outcome is leadership and as someone that has reached well, across the Karen's aisle and gotten things done John McCain has Karen, Barack yeah. Obama has not Karen, what about that then, that given mm -hmm. the enormous amount of money that Barack Obama has spent, that he did say he was going to take federal funds, went back on that, that he is buying well, the well, presidency? I mean, that's obviously absurd. I mean, this is the ultimate people-powered campaign. When you have over 300 million people donating to a campaign and you have the average contribution size of $86, 
Uh, that's a people-powered campaign. That's what campaign finance was supposed to do, is take the special interests and the influence of lobbyists out of the process. You know, John McCain takes money from lobbyists and PACs and all of that, and that's fine. I, I agree with Danny that you can't buy leadership, and that's why I'm very confident that over the last few weeks, what people have seen is strong, effective, decisive leadership from Barack Obama. I think that's why the polls are showing that voters are leaning towards Barack Obama. Unfortunately, the Republicans right. think that it's okay to just flat out lie, send hate mail, and use nasty, divisive robocalls. We just saw a report that they're again going to try their scheme in Florida of uh, telling voters that if they foreclosed on their home, they can't vote. That's not a way to win an election. Yeah, some of these All donors right. are going to have to leave it there, guys. Pro. I apologize. Yeah. So Karen Finney and Danny Diaz, mm -hmm. we, we appreciate right. having uh, both of you on. Love all those emails I get from you guys <laughs> early in the morning <laughs> with all the, all the research. We appreciate it. Thanks Won't for you miss us. it. Good to be with you. Yeah.